Here we go. So today we have uh, Oscar's Pizza. One of our, this is our favorite pizza. Like actually though. Actually. Yeah. It's, it's pretty, it's, if I had to pick one pizza in town, there's a couple really good pizzas. Uh, this is the top three. I don't know if this is my first or my third, but it's in the top three. There's there's two others that I like a lot. Not number two? But this is my favorite pizza today, definitely. Not a gyro or a gyro, but a gyro pizza with, with um, sauce on it, and I had to pull off the onions, which is acceptable. So it's Wednesday, middle of week four, and there's they're starting to see we're starting to see a lot of this. Thank you guys <laughs> for making me look awesome. There, Gross, that, that, was, Andy that was Baker. good. We just have so much else to talk about yeah. that you didn't really double check what number week it was. Okay, it's week five. Regardless of what week it is, it's it's toward the end of the build season, and. Uh, we have seen a few robots out in the wild showing their videos to everybody else. And there's CAD out there, there's CAD releases, there's video releases. Um, Spectrum 3847 and, and Bob 319 both have had their CAD releases this maybe the past two weeks. They, they, They've been out since week three. Yeah, yeah. So that's that would be right. The last two past two weeks. Also uh, 50 5053, 5053 has put out their CAD. Good job, you guys. And also, Grasshoppers on their thread, do they put out CAD too? I know they're they're, oh. they're tracking their build season on Cheap I don't Cheap remember Delphi. if they work in on Cheap, um, but they, they are pretty open the entire season oh, yeah. for what they're sharing. Now, I've seen some climber videos. There's lots, of, there's lots of climber videos out there. There's one from China that is 5451. It's kind of it's kind of cool to see these guys with their very precarious climb. There's like a there's a there's a belay system that holds the robot from the top and there's two guys in this it looks like a cart on top of a couple of totes. So hopefully we can post that video. Good job for being safe because they did have the thing rigged up so if it would tip it over it was uh, well rigged. I think they're out of Beijing so kudos to you guys in Beijing for that. I'd be surprised if anybody in China is watching. If you are, let us know. Another team that's putting videos out is uh, Fix Gear 1720 that are right down the road from us, about an hour. They, they, they come about twice a week to pick up parts. All you Fix Gears, good job of putting stuff out. I did, I did notice there was a little four bar linkage thing going. There was a cargo shooter going, and there was something else. They have a habit three climber as well. What are they doing? How are they doing? They're, um, they're rotating their cargo mechanism or something, maybe it's going to some, to lift the front of the robot up, and they're using these massive um, cylinders on the back of the robot uh, to, to keep it level, and they kind of just kind of try to synchronize those two things at once, and then they just send it really from there. And once the wheels are on the platform, they pull everything up. These are our friends who put together the bat hot. Yeah, great. A little green voltage indicator. I saw a video teaser, I couldn't figure it out, was Midnight Inventors, 1923. Mm, yeah. They have this, it's a motor, you can tell it's a motor driven, like lead screw driven, something or other, but the, all they show is the robot wheel system going up, and they have two dumpster fire pictures covering up something on the PAB platform that's, I don't know, big suction cups, a big grabber, a, a part of their top of the robot that's cantilevered over there, I don't know what the heck it is, but. 5626, FRC 5626 has a really, it's a really cool, I mean, we've all thought of it, but they, they're using vacuum to grab cargo and it looked like vacuum to grab um, hatch panels too. So the big old vacuum suction cup on an arm going, they're actually catching a cargo and deploying it and then they're catching or they're grabbing a hold of the hatch panel with, with vacuum and letting go. So that's, that's pretty cool. The pneumatic ninjas of Norway, Young America, Minnesota. Oh, it's fitting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> pneumatic ninjas are, are they're kind of swayed toward vacuum pickup. That was. I ninja. missed my pun. <laughs> fitting. Oh, fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little slow today. What's the most surprising thing we've seen? 
something we didn't expect. There's a, a robot who um, they they rotated the like a foot out from underneath oh, yeah, the that robot. Was awesome. And we got it. We sort of sat on the arm and just felt like real. That's the most straightforward way to do it. Did we talk about that already? Was that not? Yeah, they were the first one to put out put out something that I saw. I don't know like, if they're the first you, one. You mentioned them already. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't I'm looking back at my notes. 40, 20 seconds. Oh. I, th I like the simplicity of that thing. That's yeah. super simple. Yep. It's, it's, it's planetaries and. Yeah. 4026. I mean, people could add that in. There's plenty of. Well, it takes a little bit. You got you not they, have anything in the way. If they have room. Yeah. If they have room and they want to do a, a simple HAP3 climber, they could add that in right now, I think. Yeah. Team 4026, Global Dynamics from Decatur, Georgia. But no, I, I think that design is surprisingly simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it, you could just, I think you could add it on to a robot, a kit chassis. You have to make sure the underside is cleared out. You have to make sure your your structure is pretty strong. I mean, I'm pretty gotta, sure they use a kit chassis in the video to do yeah. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got a frame opening just because it's got to sit in the frame perimeter. Right. Yeah. So. I noticed somebody on Chief was talking about as they were going outside, as they were pivoting up, they were wondering if the back of the robot was breaking the plane of the edge of the have one level, which I guess if you're outside of that vertical plane. You just have to be within 30 inches protected from the robot. Is it? Yeah, as long as you're within. So they're well within that. What was the question? That was, I don't know if that was the question. If, uh, if you're outside of the have one area, can your bumpers be in some weird location, or is there a bumper location? Your bumpers have to be above the top level of whatever platform you're on, and you can't be supported by any lower. Well. Your bumper is it's a score, yeah. yeah. So, are you violating the bumper rules if you're outside of the plane? Of I think so, because they they deploy something down underneath the robot, which means that the bumpers are now not between zero and seven and a half. Yeah. But they're uh, the title of their video is R44 Past. So I don't know what 44 is, but I would I would assume it's Probably. that one, and they're they're so it's close. Right. Trumpeting. Uh, yeah, it's pretty close. Oh, to the they, uh, they, they they get past that rule. <laughs> Deadlines for Chairman's and Winnie Flowers Awards is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. You want to make sure you're getting those in if you're submitting them. Andy here strongly encourages teams to submit for Winnie Flowers. The entry itself is an award. When the students put together an entry for their mentor, that's a hard decision for those students, first of all. And it's an award for recognizing a mentor that they really appreciate their technical communication and their care for the team to make sure the kids are learning something. Students, if you haven't done it yet, take, make the effort to put in an entry for one of your mentors and focus on the aspects of technical, technical inspiration and technical communication as we see from Woody Flowers' example to the rest of us. So it's due tomorrow, three o'clock. It's a pretty important thing. Get it done. Then Chairman's Award obviously is due tomorrow at three, so that's that's a huge effort by many teams. Uh, remember, if you're submitting Chairman's, you have to submit a Chairman's video, but the video is submitted at your event when you present, not tomorrow. So you've got time to do that later. And then we have a contest <coughs> where we have a deadline of Friday noon for our pneumatic video or presentation contest. We haven't seen any. Have you seen any? I I'm not seeing any yet. So, um, free money. Free money. Send those into contests at andymark.com. If you wanted, if you'll put them on YouTube and then and then send the link to us, you'll put them on Twitter. Send that link to us. That'd be great. That means that means people already see them and you're benefiting. You're providing a benefit for somebody to see those already. Hundred dollars first place. Seventy five dollars second place. Fifty bucks third place. It's free real estate. We'll see you Friday. Be safe. Be productive. Um, show us your videos. Uh, get your pneumatic contest into entry in, and uh, we'll go out to we'll go out to lunch on Friday. We'll see you there.